Hello everyone, today our topic is how to send WhatsApp message for new Google Ads leads. So suppose we are using Google Ads to promote my business and now we are receiving a lot of leads. So here what we want to do is that whenever we are going to receive new lead from Google Ads, then automatically we want to send a WhatsApp message to that particular lead. So for sending the message on WhatsApp, we are going to use WhatsApp Cloud API and for my objective, I have to build a connection between Google Ads and WhatsApp Cloud API. So for building this connection, I'm going to use Pabli Connect, which is an amazing software for automation and integration. In Pabli Connect, I have to use Trigger and Action. In Trigger application, I'm going to use Google Ads. In Action application, I'm going to use WhatsApp Cloud API. So how I'm going to build this connection for that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen and today we are going to see that how we can send WhatsApp message for new Google ad leads. So suppose we are using Google ads to promote our business and we are receiving a lot of leads from that. Now we want to convert these leads as customer. So for that, what we are going to do is we are going to send WhatsApp messages to these leads. So here, whenever we are going to receive a new Google ad lead, then automatically we are going to send a message on WhatsApp to that particular lead. So we are going to send this WhatsApp message to our lead by using WhatsApp Cloud API. And WhatsApp Cloud API is an official API platform for WhatsApp by Meta. So here, for doing this automatically, what we are going to do is we are going to use Pabli Connect. And with Pabli Connect, I'm going to build a connection between Google Ads and WhatsApp Cloud API. And I'm going to build this connection without any coding and programming skills. So how we can use Pabli Connect and how we can set up this automation and connection between Google Ads and WhatsApp Cloud API for that, I have to open a new tab and search for pabli.com slash connect. And this will take us to this landing page of Pabli Connect. Here we have two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you don't have any account with Pabli Connect, then you just have to click on the sign up for free button and it will take only two minutes of your time and you will get 100 tasks free every month. Or if you already have an account, you can just sign in and it will direct us to this page. So these are all the apps that Pabli offers and we are going to use Pabli Connect here. For that, I have to click here on this access now button under Pabli Connect. And this will direct us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here, this is a workflow section and we can see all the workflows that we will create here. And this is the folder section. We can create new folder here and we can save any workflow in any particular folder that we want. Now here, I want to create a new workflow. For that, I have to click here on this create workflow button and this window will pop up. Here I have to name my workflow. So I'm going to name it as my objective, which is to send WhatsApp message for new Google ads leads. And now I have to select the folder where I want to save my workflow. So I'm going to open this tab. And in this tab, I have all these folders that I've created in Pabli Connect. And here I'm going to use this particular folder of Google ads. So I'm going to save my workflow in this particular folder. So I have to click on create. And this will take us to this most important window of our workflow. Here we have two boxes, trigger and action. So these are the two main principles on which our workflow works on. And trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So trigger is going to be the first step that will get executed in our workflow and action will just follow that. So we have to set up our trigger first and here my trigger application is going to be Google Ads. So I'm going to select Google Ads here. And now I have to give a trigger event. So I'm going to open this tab and new lead form entry will be my trigger event. So I'm going to select this. And now I have to connect Google ads with Pabli Connect in my workflow. So for that, I'm going to use this Vabook URL and this Vabook URL is going to work as a bridge between Google ads and Pabli Connect. So for connecting Google ads in my workflow, I have to follow all these instructions. And first I'm going to copy this Vabook URL. And now I have to take you to Google ads. So here right now, I don't have any campaign running in my Google Ads account. So I'm going to show you an example of how you can connect Google Ads with Pabli Connect. So this is a test form and I'm going to create this lead form. So here I have to give the business name, description, headline and all these details. So I'm going to fill my form details here. So my form headline will be lead form. I'm going to give a business name. So my business name will be Pabli Con. And now I have to give the description. So my description will be Fill this form for more information. And now I have all these options. So I can get all these details from this lead ad form. So I'm going to select the details that are required. So I need the lead name. I need the first name and the last name. I need the phone number and the email address and also the city. So here I have selected all these details and these are going to be the details that I want to receive from my lead ad form. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down 
And now I need to connect this particular form with Pabli Connect. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this drop down of lead delivery option. So I'm going to open this. And here I have these two tabs of Webhook URL and key. So first I'm going to paste that Webhook URL that I have copied from Pabli Connect. So I'm going to paste that here. And now I have to give the key. So my key will be of test. So here I have filled all these details. Now what I need to do is I need to go back to Pabli Connect. And here we can see it is waiting for Webhook response. So how I can get this Webhook response? For that, I need to have a live campaign running on my Google Ad account. So if I had any live campaign running on my Google Ad account, then automatically I'm going to receive new lead details from my form. But I don't have any live campaign running in my Google Ad account. So for this, let me take you back to Google Ads. And here I'm going to get the test data. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here on this send test data button. And here my test data has been sent. Now let's go back to Public Connect. And here we can see I have received this response. So this is the test data that I have received from my Google Ad response. And in this, I have all these details. So here in the details, I have all these details like city, which is Mountain View. I have the email, which is test at the rate example.com. I have this phone number, and this is also going to be the WhatsApp number of my lead. Also here, I have the first name and the last name. So the first name is first name, last name is last name. And these are all the test details. So here I have received all these test data from the form that I had in my Google Ads. Now what I need to do is I need to use all these data to send a WhatsApp message automatically to my lead. So for that, what I need to do is I need to set up my action tab. So I'm going to open this tab and here my action application is going to be WhatsApp Cloud API. So I'm going to select WhatsApp Cloud API here. And now I have to give an action event. So I'm going to open this tab and send template message will be my action event. So I'm going to select this. And I'm going to connect WhatsApp Cloud API with Pabli Connect. So I'll click here on connect. I will click on add new connection. And for connecting WhatsApp Cloud API with Pabli Connect, I need a token, phone number ID, and WhatsApp business account ID. So how I can find all these details and how I can set up the account of WhatsApp Cloud API. So for that, what I need to do is I need to open this hyperlink of learn more. And it will take us to Pabli Forum. And in this, I have all the instruction of how I can set up my WhatsApp Cloud API account and how I can get all the details that are required to connect Pabli Connect with WhatsApp Cloud API. So I have already set up my WhatsApp Cloud API account. So I'm going to go back to Pabli Connect and I need token, phone number ID and WhatsApp business account ID. So for all these details, I have to take you to WhatsApp Cloud API. And here I have all these details like my access token, phone number ID and WhatsApp business account ID. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all these details and I'm going to paste that in Pabli Connect. So first I'm going to refresh this access token as this is a temporary access token. That's why I have refreshed this. Now I'm going to copy all these details and I'm going to paste that in Pabli Connect. And here I have filled all these required details. Now what I need to do is I need to click on save. And here my connection is successful. Now what I need to do is I need to first select my template. So for the template, what we need to do is we need to go to WhatsApp Cloud API and we need to open this hyperlink by clicking here. And it will take us to WhatsApp Manager. And in WhatsApp Manager, we have all the massive templates that we have created or we are going to create in WhatsApp Cloud API. So here, if you don't have any template, then what you need to do is you need to first create your template and you can create your template by clicking here on this create template button. And after clicking here, you have to follow all the steps and you have to customize the message that you want to send to your leads. So after customizing the message, you need to take the approval for your template by Meta. And after taking the approval, your template will look like this. So I have this particular template of Google Ads leads and I have take approval of this particular template. So I'm going to open this. And this is going to be my template. And in this template, I have customized this message that I'm going to send to my new leads that I'm going to receive from Google Ads. So this is the message that I want to send to my leads. And this is going to be my template. And the name of my template is Google Ads Leads. And in this template, I have this particular variable. So in the place of this particular variable, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the name of my lead that I'm going to receive from Google Ads. And every time I'm going to receive a new lead from Google Ad, then automatically I'm going to replace the name of that lead here in this variable. Now for selecting my template, I have to go back to Pabli Connect. And here for selecting the template, I have to open this tab. And in this tab, I will find all the templates that I've created in my WhatsApp Cloud API account. And I'm going to use this particular template of Google Ad Leads and my language code and template ID is already selected. Now what I need is I need the recipient mobile number. 
and I have received this recipient mobile number from the response of Google Ads. So I'm going to use that mobile number and I'm going to map the mobile number of my lead here. So for that, what I need to do is I need to use mapping. And what mapping is, mapping is a technique through which I can retrieve the data from the previous tabs and the data that is changing will get replaced with the new data in the real time. So for mapping, I have to click here. I will open the response of Google Ads. And in this, I have all these details. And in these details, I have this mobile number of my lead. So I'm going to map this. Similarly, I have to map the body field one. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to map the customer name. And this is the tab of my variable. So here in the variable, I'm going to give the name of my customer. So I'm going to click here. I will open this response of Google ads. And here I have all these details. So first I have to give the first name. So I'm going to map that. I will give a space and I'm going to map the last name. So this is going to be the name of my lead, which is first name, last name. And here I have mapped all these details. Now what is going to happen is that every time I'm going to receive a new lead from Google ads, then every time I'm going to receive new lead details from Google ads. So as I'm going to receive new lead details, then automatically all these details are going to get replaced and I'm going to receive new details in real time. Now here I have received this test number. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear this and for receiving a message, I'm going to type my number. So I'm going to put my number just to show you that how you can send WhatsApp messages to your Google ad leads. So I'm going to type my number here and now I have filled all the required details. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on save and send test request button. And here we can see I have received this response. So this is a positive response. And this means that I have sent a message automatically to my lead that I have received from Google ads. Now to check this, I'm going to open WhatsApp. And here on WhatsApp, we can see I have just received this new message from team Pabli. So here the message is hi, first name, last name. So this was the name of my lead that I have received from Google ads. And here I have this message which says, I hope this message finds you well. I noticed that you recently expressed interest in our service through Google ads. And I wanted to personally reach out to see how we can assist you further. I would love to learn more about your needs and discuss how we can tailor our services to meet your needs. Would you be available for a quick chat sometime this week? Looking forward to hearing from you. Best regards team Pabli. So this was the method that I had in my template in WhatsApp cloud API and automatically by using that template, I have sent this message to my new lead that I have received from Google ads. So here my connection between Google ads and WhatsApp cloud API is working successfully. And whenever I'm going to receive a new lead from Google ad, then automatically I'm going to send an automated WhatsApp message to that particular lead. So here we can see that I have sent this message automatically to my lead that I have received from Google ads. Now let's go back to Pabli connect. And here we can see I've created this automation and connection between Google ads and WhatsApp cloud API in such a way that whenever I'm going to receive new Google ad leads, then automatically I'm going to send and watch some message to that particular lead. So let's summarize what we did here. So first I've set up my trigger and my trigger application was Google ads and my trigger event was new lead form entry. Then I've set up my action step and my action application was WhatsApp cloud API and my action event was send template message. So this is how I have successfully created this workflow and you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow. And I'm also going to put the link of my workflow in the description so you can check it out from there. And thank you for watching this video. Not just these applications, you can automate and integrate a lot more application like this by using Pabli Connect. So if you want to reach out to us, then email us at support at the rate And if you have any queries, then you can write us at forum.pabli.com and if you have any issue with the pricing, then you can visit this link. And if you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.